Hey guys, welcome to the conclusion between uh, the Netherworld Bracket here in Season 2 of Final Fantasy 1.3 AI Tournament between uh, a quick one and Tiny Tiny Game. Uh, if you recall from the last fights, due to the size of the map, uh, whoever was on the defensive team was able to kill whoever went near them and uh, eventually win. So I went for more, more of a uh, defensive, sorry, medium-sized map this time around. Uh, once again, Tan Tanakame has a very melee heavy team, while Quick One is very much more of a balanced build. Uh, the map today is the Runes Outside Zayland. So, medium sized map, decent geomancy, uh, good range, nice kind of choke point right here. Is it one? Two wide or one wide? Uh. It's just one wide. So, uh, melee might get screwed by this little bit right here, but otherwise there's panels they can go around. Uh, but, yeah, so, set everybody up here real quick. You're not protecting anybody. Oh, you're, hey, you're already supposed to run like a rabbit, I think. Uh, so, double samurai and ninja, start things off. Uh, ninja goes first. Uh, they are the defensive team, so not really rushing toward that little doorway, which is very much their benefit, I think. When the other team rushes through the doorway, then they can just really open up. Uh, Samurai starts to move forward and does some Kotetsu action on the one of these sides. Uh, then it triggers regen based off the Kotetsu. Uh, Samurai goes for the other doorway, window way, whatever, as Chrono makes an advance. Uh, Dire Maker goes forward, does some uh, Wave Fist action. 80% misses. Uh, haste 2 does successfully resolve, however, and blesses the entire team with haste. Uh, Ninja moves forward. Still no range, because he knows nothing for throw. He just He's, he's a very good melee bot. Uh, we've got some crossbow action on to the female samurai, which succeeds. Then we have, I'm going to guess, a holy or flare, or whatever the heck this Yorda knows. But uh, that's not going to happen. So she gets melee down for 507, because she's charging. Oops. Uh, got some golem out of Chrono. So, uh, yeah, Chrono survived the ordeal. As Dyer goes to straight melee onto the Samurai, which hits for 221. Odin resolves. Uh, Samurai gets hit for some more. She's down some health, but she's also knows some uh, curing dryout, so she heals up herself for 150, then runs away. Raval, on the other hand, he knows item. Phoenix downs Yorda real quick. Regions up a lot of health. Sexy. Ugh. Uh, let's see. Ninja goes forward, does some melee. Uh, G Master is able to block one of them. Uh, G Master counters. Dire he does inflict uh, don't move onto the ninja. So, so long as the G Master moves away and the ninja has zero range, uh, everything will be fine. I don't know what the AI will be, though. But we do have some golem action. Uh, dire, yeah, good dire. Run away. Uh, the samurai blocks with his. Uh, I guess Rune Blade, Ice Brand, whatever. Uh, G Master attack. Uh, Golem's now dead, so the knight moves forward and uh, gets the Samurai with a double proc at that. Ooh, Wizard Mantle saves the priest. Uh, Would have been another, another lethal one shot, but uh, she has a whopping 18% evasion, and it successfully worked. But because the Samurai has taken a little bit of damage now, uh, she healed up herself again and is running away. Has cure three resolves and heals her up even more, so she's back at max health. Uh, Harkin is going Odin action onto the male samurai and the ninja, from the looks of it. Yeah, 100 damage onto both. As Raval goes for some more ninja damage. Uh, he takes a 120 damage bolt to the face. He's down. Uh, we got something lethal charge onto him, but he's getting an explosion, so he survives for yet another round. Until the Geomancer kills him. But we do have a bolt too, and it uh, doesn't not hit the Geomancer, he's too far away as far as vertical goes. And again, uh, two handed samurai with a, I believe that's an ice brand and 108 gems. But uh, 338 damage in a single swing, that is enough to kill any clothy. So, ouch. Uh, Knight falls back and does some more crossbow action onto the samurai. Golem happens, uh, more fresh, 266 damage, so they're protected from one more samurai swing. 
as Chrono is rezzing up with a raise to the uh, ninja. Uh, Dara moves to the back. He is now going after the female samurai as a flare resolves onto the male samurai, which kills him. Uh, Shishi says, I'm going to kill Dara Maker. If that doesn't happen, Golem gets in the way. Uh, Golem's a kid dead, but uh, he does counter flood. Nothing big there. Race 2 resolves. Ninja's back up. Who uh, then rises up the samurai. So we have some light AoE from the summoner onto the ninja. Hopefully going to knock out the uh, samurai as well. Uh, high ether back onto uh, Yorda because of flare. Takes a lot of MP. But Odin does resolve. And uh, so samurai's back down and the ninja takes a little bit of damage. So Yorda charges up a flare onto the ninja which will kill him unless Chrono intervenes. Like that. I think she's charging a fairy. Or a raise. Yeah, fairy. So we have some now double panel revival to counter all the rest of this AoE. Uh, onto the ninja and the samurai. Misses the samurai. Does hit the ninja. Uh, Chrono is almost out of MP. Uh, see, she kills the male samurai. She has two hands, two handed and uh, a rune blade. So not as strong as melee. But uh, still pretty damn lethal. Uh, more res loops around the samurai. Phoenix down and crossbow and death and something light from Yorda once again. Yeah, bolt 2, 100 damage. Then just back down. Uh, Shishi comes in and does some Kotetsu action, hitting only the summoner for whopping whopping 120. Uh, race 2 is cast onto the male samurai, which hits. Chrono is now completely out of mana, as is Harkin. They're reduced to hitting each other with rods and fists. Uh, Raval sees a female samurai and misses her. Yorda's going for some light AoE. I'm going to guess like a bolt or, yeah, bolt two. Uh, hits them both. Uh, female samurai's back down. Male samurai's still up. He's doing some uh, revive action. 81% does work. A lot of sandbagging on uh, TTK's team. Sorry, a lot of revival capability on TTK's team, I should say. Uh, taking a page from, I guess, CT5 Holy team last time. But, uh, yeah, Chrono is out of MP, so she's worthless. So we got some more revive action happening. Uh, Ken Sirens away. Revol going for a side shot now. No more 80%. 300 damage crit. That is a max damage crit right there. Uh, so Samurai's back down. Dire Maker, meh, you're dead. Ninja, meh, you're dead. Uh, Yorda and Chrono not within range of the crystal, so neither of them go grab for it. So, male samurai goes back up, heals up the female samurai, who then gets staff whacked, and then HP restore triggers, you stupid AI! Uh, but the crystal is finally obtained, uh, max all around, a flare is charged onto Chrono, who's now critical. As Raval runs to the back and does some side damage, 156 from the crossbow. Uh, Sushi runs back, does some healing action to counter that flare, 150 damage to them both. She's back to uh, like almost max HP now. Uh, Male Samurai goes and one shots the summoner, but she does have a re raise. So she pops right back up, and all of you know, 8 MP. So she can't cast anything, she's pretty worthless right now. Uh, so Yorda. Going for some more flare action. Now should kill Chrono. Uh, Raval goes for some crossbow. Hits the female samurai. Flare resolves. She's down again. Gets Phoenix down. Just back up. 13. Uh, not enough for the summoner to take down. Uh, male samurai begins to wreck shop. Melee's down. Uh, Yorda once again. Female summoner. Oh, doing all of 8 damage. Wonderful. So, now, uh, Quick One's team, he's more on the defensive, uh, very much of a resolute happening right here, uh, dead Geomancer, uh, Knight is doing nothing but Phoenix down, as Kensai is able to one-shot either caster, so, not looking all too bright for a Quick One right now. Too critical and completely out of mana. Uh, casters and Raval can't ether them because he's too busy resing them up. So it's the bad end of a cycle right here. 
Uh, more Phoenix down action. Shishi runs away because, again, uh, Quick One's team is on the defensive. So they're all kind of just chilling in the back here. Which may play out to uh, Quick One's advantage right here. Uh, Samurai probably just run up and kill the summoner again, though. Yeah. 338 damage to uh, less than 20. Pretty lethal overkill. And Orval just keeps on resing her up. We are in a very nasty AI loop here. Because everyone's just waiting in place. And our only hope... Let's see. Put on mana real quick. Yeah, he is... I believe this is the enemy team right here. Which means they have an infinite amount of a uh, Phoenix down, so we can't...